Hello. I'm going to show you how to continue working with poly editing tools. Uh, in my previous uh, videos, I showed you how to uh, use extrude bevel and insert. I'm going to continue showing you the other tools that you need in modeling. I'm going to go to the sub object. I'm going to select faces. You can select multiple faces. As you can see, 8 out of 54. And then you can click on a slice or cut. Look at the cursor here. Once you're in this area, the cursor is going to change to cross. If you click on a slice, your cursor is going to change into a cross anywhere in, in this uh, viewport, which means you are in the interactive mode, which once you click somewhere, you're going to see this line. This is the line that you can cut the mesh. It doesn't matter where you click. This is always a plane from uh, the beginning to the end. So I'm going to come here and click here. So I have a cut for selected faces. And the other side is uh, remain the same. So this face is still there because uh, this plane, which is the uh, plane of our slice, is not influencing this one. So this one stays the same. So I'm going to remove back, uh, remove uh, the slice. And I'm going to go back and again try another one. I'm going to go to the cut mode. It's the same as a slice. You're going to go to interactive multi, uh, multi mouse events. And you click here. And I'm going to click here. So now you're going to have new edges along your plane. One of the features of uh, operator is both of these slice and cut plane are doing the same thing except that they pre-settings all these settings. So using the same operator slice. So if you uncheck this cut, you're going to have the same feature and convert the same uh, style to the slice. And if we switch it back, you're going to have only a cut. So you're going to have only uh, new edges. You can also do flipping. Flipping is not going to work for cut, but if you have a slice, you can easily flip which side I want to remove. And you have also uh, axis changes. Since we're using uh, this method, uh, we're using the mouse clicks, we don't need axis, uh, but still you can change if you change your mind that yeah, you want to uh, change your axis from uh, based on the current plane that uh, you created. The second option is, as you can see here, the, the plane is visible. It means your, by default, your gizmo of plane is on. If you click here, you're going to disable your gizmo mode and you can continue working. So always remember, when you apply one of these operators that has a gizmo, when it's highlighted, you can't do anything else. You can't use the application. You can't go to the move. and. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the gizmo of move is not visible unless you go to the move mode, uh, go to the object mode. So you go to the object mode, and as long as this plane is here, you can easily just move this gizmo, and you're going to have uh, the results in real time. Once you're done, you just click here, you disable this. Now if you move, your object is going to move. You also have the center of uh, uh, your uh, gizmo, which is here. It's the same way that you go to the gizmo mode and moving this one. You can also manually do that here. Rotations, which is local, you can rotate your gizmo other than the axis, because based on the axis, you, then you have local rotation, which lets you do the manipulations. I'm going to remove this one. You can also apply the same operator uh, as a slice and cut uh, using this uh, section, which is operators of polymesh. You go here and just type slice. But if, you can f uh, if you cannot find this here, you can easily find uh, the operator uh, from uh, selecting the object going to sub-object, and then you have a slice and cut. The difference of a slice and cut here uh, and using them in, in the face, you don't have interactive uh, 
way of adding that and no uh, face is going to be selected so no matter what is your selection you always have your objects uh, ent uh, entire objects uh, being sliced into uh, half so you can easily go back and then you have the same results as you have you can also go to this mode and use cut and you can add something from here to here now you have an extra edge remember to disable this gizmo when you're done and if you go to the vertex mode and move this one you see this one is attached to the face so you're not going to have uh, you're going to have uh, your topology uh, the same way that uh, you wish so you're gonna have a custom uh, edge at this point I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video subscribe like this video let me know what you think thank you so much